Hello, my name is George Cole. I'm the field service manager for Hunter Industries FX Luminaire here in Southern California. And today's technical treat is the Easy Decoder. The Easy Decoder system works with the HCC and the ICC controllers. You have your module that can plug into any open port. You also have your decoders that go out in the field. All one station decoders, no multi-station decoders. This one happens to be a hybrid. It has the first eight stations going out to the field is 24 volts and then stations 9 through 54 are on the two wire path. If I've moved my master valve out to the two wire path from the controller, I can program one of the decoders as a master valve decoder, but I also need to take and run a wire between the pump master valve circuit of the power module, bring it back around into the decoder module here so the controller realizes that the master valve is out on the two wire path now. We can use any two wires coming back from the controller. So right now I have two 14 gauge wires that are going out into the field. I found two of them that are good. I'm going to use them. No special wire, no special connections. It's, it's a great system. It's easy to diagnose if you have any problems. Right now this two wire path should have no voltage on it. There's nothing on. It's just sitting here waiting to go. And if you take a look at my voltmeter, you should see it reading basically zero volts. There is no voltage on here, so right now it's at 0 0.078 volts. So there's no voltage on here, even though the green light is on. This green light here is just telling me that this module right here has power to it and it's ready to go. When I go to turn on a station, you're going to notice this thing flicker really fast as it sends out the command to turn on a specific station. The solenoid is going to click, and then right here on the decoder, you should see a flashing green. So let me turn on a controller uh, station right now. You can see it flashing really fast, and now it's flashing. It's no longer steady. That means that something is on. So if you ever open up an easy decoder controller and you notice that light flashing, you know that the controller says there's something on, even if you haven't looked at the face pack. This flashing light right here means it's got its command and that it knows it's supposed to be irrigating. So we've given you some diagnostics. So it's very simple. If you have no light here, you need to come up here and check for voltage. And so what I usually tell people is to come up here and go between the test terminal and the common, any one of the commons. If I have voltage like that, then I know that I have voltage to here. And if this thing is still black, you know, blank and not even lit up, then I know there's probably something going on with this module. If I have no voltage here, then I know there's something going on here and I keep diagnosing down through the transformer. I just find out if the transformer is giving me 24 volts. If in fact this thing is flashing and my decoder is not flashing, then either I don't have voltage going to the decoder, like the wire path is broke, or there's something wrong with the decoder. So now what I would do is I'd go out to the field and right where the decoder is connected to the two wire path, I would put my voltmeter on there. Do I have voltage? If I don't have voltage, that means my wire's cut. If I do have voltage, then basically I have something going on with the decoder. If you do have both of these flashing, but the solenoid is still not opening, then you have something going on with the solenoid, then you can check for voltage here. All this voltage I'm talking about is nothing special. I have just a standard 24 volt uh, AC coming out of it, 60 hertz, so my one meter should be able to read it all. No special tools, just standard 24 volt AC. 60 hertz. So I can come up and take a voltage reading coming out of the out of the decoder. If I have my flashing light, 24 volts coming out of the decoder, but the solenoid's not popping, pretty much check the solenoid. There's something wrong with the solenoid. If you don't have 24 volts coming out of the decoder and it's flashing like this, then there's something going on with the decoder. About the only other thing that you probably would see is you're going to see an overload. And there's two types of overloads. We'll talk about them here. The first type of ov overload is if a station overloads. If you have a bad solenoid, it shorts out. And what you're going to catch there is you're going to catch a red light on the module itself. Okay? And so what happens is it goes to talk, and you're going to see that thing go red, right? And it's going to come up, and it's going to have a problem. And then what's going to happen is that you're going to get the error message on the front panel. The front panel is going to say like station 9 error. And it's going to be red. 
So now I know that when it went to turn on station nine, I had a short, I had an error message, and it's number nine. So I can go out and check the, check the solenoid. Now, I unplug the controller, I wait a few minutes, I wanna make sure that completely dies out. I put power back to the controller. If it comes back up steady green, then I know it's something like a decoder turning on a station. I, I know it's something past the decoder. If this comes up red immediately, then I know I have a problem with the two wire path, and now it's a whole different thing. I need to go through and start diagnosing my two wire path, and we'll be talking about that a little bit later. I wanna thank you very much for your time today. We appreciate you using Hunter products. Stay tuned for some more of these neat little old technical uh, treats, and I'll be back later on.